All right, what's going on guys? Um, this is just a short video. I don't know how short it'll be actually. Um, about my shooting experience because I went Saturday, didn't I? I said I did a video about it. People saying enjoy your shoot and all that. So that's my cat, by the way. Um, yeah, they said enjoy your shoot and all that. And um, yeah, I said I was going to do a video when I come back of how I enjoyed it all. Um, I do want to show you. Um, some footage of me shooting. Um, it is on Facebook. Um, my dad put it on. Um, just move all this junk. Sorry about this, I forgot, I forgot about it. Um, this is where I usually have my laptop. Right. Just gonna use my uh, computer a minute. Can't see. I just I put it here. Um, it will go straight up um, because I've got it all up on here. Plus my computer loads fast. All right, so I fired a Mossberg. I think it was a 500. Uh, Mossberg 500. It was a Woodstock. It held five plus round, five plus one rounds. Um, it was quite an old one. He only, it only cost him one hundred and fifty pounds, which is around two hundred dollars for a shotgun. Um, so let me just explain to you that this this is one video. It's only fifty two seconds long. It's me um, loading one into the chamber and then pulling the the uh, pump forward. You know, when you drop one in and then pump it, not pump it. You have to pump back. You let you drop one in and then push it forward. And then I load three in the in the in the uh, magazine tube. So this is that video of me shooting, and um, I found the recoil not too bad. Yes, yeah, I don't have any software to edit on, so I just wipe. You can see um, of my dad and his friend. So if you hear anyone, that's probably his friend. Why is it stopped? Why is it net slow? That's never slow for me. So I just showed you. I'll just show you a second. So I pump it forward. We want in the chamber, and then I load some more in. It started getting heavy, so I held it higher up on the gun. Um, I was safed with the guns, I didn't put my finger on the trigger until I was ready to fire. Um, the gun is quite heavy. That's my dad then. Is it number five? Why is it? Um, so when I was set out, we were shooting, uh, tr we were trap shooting, so we were shooting clays. Um, and they all had numbers, and we was going along shooting them. Um, it was really fun. I don't know why it's slow. Right, oh. right, it's loading faster now. No, it's not. What the fuck? Alright, it's loading. I'm just going to talk about it. Um, so I fired. 12 gauge, um, super fast hull cartridge, 27 gram. You might see these around, I don't know, it's, these are British shotgun cartridges. Um, it was pleasant to shoot. Um, I shot both guns, I like the uh, pump more. I don't know why, I just like the action, I think. All right. There's a lot of people firing. I was slowly doing it to make sure the shells were working correctly. Doing it again. I wasn't getting stuck. There was a few times where I double tapped because I missed.
I didn't fight the recoil. the uh you'll see this man he is um a dash friend um he's the one standing here uh this is the double this is the uh, uh over and over and under yeah over and under um so yeah I was asking when load started because I don't know where it started. Oh. <laughs> my dad then. The reason why I said woho is because um, they were quite close, and the um, one of the, part of the um, part of the clay actually came and hit us in the foot, like landed next to us. Um, I didn't fight the recoil because um, you tend to miss your shots if you miss, if you, well, you tend to miss your shots if you fight the recoil. There was a few times where I flinched because somehow the um, selector switch on the double, on the, on the, yeah, the double barrel had switched to fire the first one at the top first, so I usually load, you usually load the bottom one first and not the top one. And it, it somehow switched to the top and I didn't know, I forgot they had them on there, because I know last time they did, and every time I pressed, I said pull, went up, didn't fire, I flinched. And it's weird, I didn't, I don't fight recoil, but you flinch, it's very strange how flinching works. There you go. Um, don't know any other things to show. So yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a great experience. Um, uh, it costed us around thirty pounds um, for shells. We we shot around three boxes. Um, so yeah, um, here's a part of the clay I, I picked off the ground. Um, it's funny because when, when, when my dad said pull, his mate pressed it and it came up and it shattered before it. Um, we shot it, he shot it, it was cracked and as it went up it just broke. Um, yeah. That's the noise. Um, so all the shots I I fired with the uh, double barrel, um, I I as I pulled the as I broke it open, they ejected. I grabbed them, and I as I grab I sort of you know not when you grab them as you eject it, I put them in my um, army jacket that I had on at the time, and I I think I picked up all the ones I shot. Um, as you can see, they're not. They're, they're shiny still, because um, if you leave them out in the rain, they rust. Um, these are the, he he uses fiber um, because um, fiber wads because um, that means they decompose they rot and decompose into the ground, um, rather as uh, plastic wads don't. So it's better to use fiber wads. Um, so yeah, it was a good experience. Um, I, I, I like the sh I like pump shotguns. The reason why I was doing it slow was obviously I'm not speed shooting, so I don't need to go fast. And I went like that as it ejected, and then looked to make sure it ejected properly, and entered another cartridge into the feeding ramp. Um, the, when I when I obviously it's an old gun, and he and he, he, he my dad's friend didn't pay a lot for it, so I just made sure. And um, I think it's a model 500 because. It has an a uh, it has a pump release switch because it when you when you load a round in it locks. And it's the same if you don't have a round in. When you pump it, it locks. Um, 
and you have to fire, you have to pull the trigger to fire it, usually to un unlock it. So you push the button in, and you can keep racking it. Um, so I was just making sure um, it went in properly. Um, there was um, a few times where I'd missed, and I double tapped, and I, st I st obviously still missed. But I was going, so I pull that and fired like two rapid shots. Um, yeah, my my airsoft shotgun is very realistic to uh, a real one. This one, this is an airsoft gun. It's got a switch here for safety. I what I did is I put it into my shoulder, already pumped. I lean into it. Obviously, I'm I'm leaning into it like that. And then I say pull, and then. But I went. Like that, because I was looking into the uh, ejection port. But what I would do is, I would. This is empty, which doesn't go in anyway, but what I would do is I'd. It'd be an empty gun, pull the bolt, pull the uh, pump back, drop one in, into the port. So I'd drop one in, like that. Pump it forward, then load. These don't go in properly. I'll load in three more, um, so I wouldn't have to load. Um, if I wanted to double tap, I could, and um, I still have one more for the next one. By the way, there's a weight rattling inside. Um, So I would have one more shot for the next next tile. Um, I fired a lot of rounds. Um, I hit a few of them as well, which is good. Uh, I did miss a few as well, but that, you know I haven't been shooting for a long time, and I was just getting used to it again. Um, it does take you time to get used to. Well, it does take you time to get better at shooting. Um, even professionals have a bad day sometimes at shooting. So yeah, I enjoyed it. The recoil wasn't bad, didn't hurt me at all. Although, I have a very light bruise. I don't know if you could see that. You might see some discoloration here. Um, when I first got it, um, when, I, when I first had it, it's not so bad now, but it feels still feels um, kind of um, delicate. I don't know why. I double tapped and stuff, didn't hurt, didn't feel it. I just sort of went like this on my shoulder or something, and it just hurt. I was like, the hell? And there was a little, like, blood splodges. Um, uh, I thought the recoils would be worse, that's why I wore a jacket as well as a jumper. Um, I did leave my jumper on, but I took my jacket off after a while because I, it wasn't bothering me at all. The first shot didn't even mind. Um, and I just wore a, th a thin jumper. Um, it was cold out, it was 7 degrees, so, you know, don't say, oh, you're a wussy, you wore a jumper still. Um, the recoil didn't, didn't matter. I had it in the right position, in the soft part. Um, not, not right into the shoulder, but the soft part, more closer in. Um, so, yeah, I enjoyed it as well, so it was good. Um, my dad enjoyed it. Um... Yeah. By the way, if you want to see any reviews of this, these two guns here behind me, with the whole, with the uh, the relief, whatever they're in, um, have a look on my channel. There's there's a few reviews of them. They're Resident Evil um, Gold Lugers. Now, they are based on real. There's only one real version. There's also there's two of them in the game, but that. That is based on the on a real Luger. They uh, a Luger P08. They uh, made one for a general or something, and it looks just like that, um, but real. And uh, it went for like 25 to 50 grand. And the real one looks amazing. You should Google a gold Luger, um, and you'll see. Um, so yeah, um, check out my channel for those reviews. Um, check out my channel if you're interested in gun reviews, um, you know, airsoft gun reviews. Um, or just check out my channel if you if you like this video. Um, so yeah.
Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.